Okay, so we've just got a very short video here where we're going to take a very quick look at if statements in Python. Now we're going to cover these in more detail next week. Um, however, they're really important for coding. So I wanted to give you a heads up on what these look like as soon as possible. So, before we learn about the syntax of if statements, we need to understand Boolean comparisons. Um, all Boolean comparisons are doing is they're comparing um, two or more things and they're returning either a true or false. So is that statement true or is that statement false? So in these examples here, we've got two variables. The first is foo, which is an integer value um, set to two. And then we've got a string here, spam, which we've set the variable bar equal to. And then we've got a number of print statements underneath. Um, and in each of those print statements, we, are, we have a Boolean comparison um, that will evaluate to either true or false. So the first one is checking for a quality of foo to two, which we, I suspect will return true. Um, the second one is we've got is foo less than or equal to five, which should also return true. Um, the third one is foo greater than uh, five, um, which should return false. Uh, then underneath that, we look at bar, where we're checking um, is bar equal to x? That will return false because we know bar is spam. Uh, and then the final one is looking at the type of bar. So it doesn't need to be um, the value. We could, we could also look at the type of the, the variable. Um, so here we're saying, is the type of bar equal to the type of foo? Um, which will return false. Now, one thing to watch out for in Boolean comparisons is that we have this double equals sign here. Now, the double equals sign um, is when we want to evaluate an equality of two, value, two variables. So, for example, is foo equal to two? Um, if we want to assign the value of two to foo, we use the single equals sign. So just watch out for that. That's quite a common mistake in programming. So let's run this cell and see what, what values we get. OK, so we, we've got the values that we expected. So is foo equal to two? That this, this bit of code here evaluates to true. Um, is foo less than or equal to five? That's true. Is foo greater than five? That's false. Um, is bar equal to x? That's false. And is bar the same type as foo, which is, which is also false? So we're going to use these Boolean comparisons within if statements. So here we've got a really simple if statement. Um, and the syntax of this is really straightforward. And it reads like English. So if foo equals 100, then execute this code below. That's it's as simple as that. Else if foo equals 10, then execute this code below that. Else if foo equals bar, then execute this print statement below that. Else the default action is to use execute this print statement here. So we've got a we're setting the value of foo, this variable, to 100. So what we know is it's going to come down to this code here, the Python interpreter, and it's going to read if foo equals 100, then execute this print statement. So let's run the code and see what happens. So the output is, hello, you branched here because foo equals 100 and evaluated to true. So basically we're saying if this value is true, then execute this code below it. If that code evaluates to false, if that Boolean comparison evaluates to false, then drop down to the next else if or else within that if statement. So if we now changed foo to um, equal bar and execute that code again, we can now see that the output is, gosh, hello, this time foo looked a bit different. So we can see that it's executed this piece of code here. And the reason it did that was because when it ran this first if statement here, that evaluated to false. So it dropped down to the next else if in the list that also evaluated to false. So it dropped down to this else if, and that evaluated to true. So then it ran this piece of code. And all if statements work in exactly the same way. It's a way of branching your code. 
So you don't want the same thing to happen each time your code is run. It depends on some sort of input into your code. And that's all there is to if statements.